Hello, welcome back. Ok, in this lesson you will be able to see something completely different than what you have seen in the previous ones. So this is basically case statement. What is the purpose of this statement? Basically if you ever used Excel or some other data tool, you will be able to quickly understand the logic here. This is nothing but the if statement, so the logic is same. If some condition is met, then we will do one thing. If it's not, then we will do other thing. So let's see how can we practically use that. Now I'm gonna remove those two tables. This one and this one. We don't need that anymore. And this time we will be creating another table. Let's click on other chart. I'm gonna create a table here. And what I would like to see, I would like to see product name, but not here. I'm gonna place it here in dimension. And let's use record count actually this time. So basically we have some products and we have number of these products. So what is our plan today? I would like to see also the price of these products. So instead of record count, let's actually use price. And now let's say that we would like to see number of products that has price over 1000. We will need to extract all the products that have this price over 1000. How can we do that? For that purpose, we will be using case statement. So let's go to this data section and let's click on add a field. Add calculated field. And now let's type price condition for example. Something like that. Okay, now what we need to create our function here. So let's type case. Then we will be using when. Now we need to provide condition. So when price is greater than 1000 then let's type for example price is over 1000 but if this condition is not met then i will type else price is below 1000 excellent now we need to add one more keyword and and basically this way we will end this function here as you can see we don't have any errors which is good and now let's see how that works. Basically, we will create additional field, price condition, and this field will contain two values. First one will be price is over 1000 and second one will be price is below 1000. Let's see how that works. Let's click on save and done. And we can see our price condition column. I'm going to create additional table, add a chart, then insert table. And now instead of here, I'm going to provide price condition. Let's provide it here and let's provide a record count. So this way we can understand how many products are above and how many are below 1000 in this price. So majority of our products is below 1000 and this is the number and also this is the number of products that are over 1000. Now, let's say that we would like to change this condition. So let's go to price condition and let's type here 700, for example. If I change this and this, now we are able to see this update button done. And basically our table will be changed. Now ratio is different, but still we have way more products that cost more than 700. Now I'm going to add one more change here. Let's click on price condition. I'm going to place it to be 500 also here in this condition. And now if I update this, if I click on done, again, it will be changed. But now this time I would like to add one more condition. So let's click on this price condition and now that is okay. Then I will add another condition when price again is greater than 250. Then let's copy this one more time. And I'm going to just change it to 250. Now we don't have any errors as you can see. And basically let's see now what we will get. If I click on update and done, we will get three values here in this table. Price is below 500, this is the number. Price is over 250, this is the number. And price is over 500, 
this is the number here. Excellent. Now let's check what is the percentage of each of these in our total value. Let's again use this record count. And this time, let's go to this comparison calculation instead of none. Let's click on this percent of total. Excellent. Now we have this almost 56% for this one, almost 28% for this one, and 16% for this value here. Excellent. That is one option for case statement. Also, what is important for you to know that you can also add text condition. So, for example, if we click on this FX, we can change basically this, and instead of number, we can provide text. So, for example, if price category is equal to phone, then do something. If not, then do other thing. So basically that is also one of the possibilities that you have. Great. With this, I'm going to conclude this lesson. Thank you for watching.